In this micro nugget, we take a look at creating a timed Windows backup. I'm James Conrad. All right, so let me show you a couple of files that are very important to me and that I would never want to lose. The first one has obvious importance, my plan for world domination. It's kind of my secret. I don't want to show it to anybody, so I'm just going to... Oh, I didn't mean to double click on it. Well, there it is. Hopefully you don't steal my idea and make your own billions. I have a feeling somebody else has already done that. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures here as well. This is my daughter's high school graduation, a wonderful family event where my wife, my daughter, me, and my son were all there and, and really enjoyed that evening. I don't want to ever lose that picture. It's kind of an important picture to me. So how can I protect that? Well, what I can do is to go into Control Panel to create a backup by going to Backup Your Computer. Then what I can do is to click Set Up Backup. Now notice it has a shield icon here, meaning that I do have to be an administrator in order to perform these functions. So I'll click Set Up Backup. If I were not an administrator, it would prompt me with a username and password. Now I don't see my drive there, so let me refresh this and uh, try to get it back. Well, there it is. Uh, sometimes you have to click refresh if the drive does not appear immediately, especially if maybe it was an external USB drive that you forgot to plug in. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, let Windows choose or let me choose. With Windows choosing, it just saves all the files that are in the default location, such as your libraries. These would be the doc documents uh, in the libraries folder or the documents folder. Anything on the desktop also creates a system image, which allows you to do a bare metal restore, meaning that if the computer ever fails completely and I have to even replace the whole hard drive, I can restore everything exactly to the way it was, all my settings, all my preferences, my desktop, everything. But I'm going to choose let me choose just so that you can see the various options. I could select or deselect the various data files here at various locations such as documents, music, and so on. If I didn't need full uh, videos, for example, I could deselect that item. But I'm okay with what we had there as the default, so I'll choose that. Notice that it also does include a system image of the drives, and I only have one drive, so it's going to do that. And that would allow me, again, to restore the entire operating system if I needed to. Now, the other thing I could do here is go to the schedule. Uh, notice that right now it says that it's going to back up every Sunday at 7 p.m., but I'm a little bit more paranoid than that. There are a lot of changes I make throughout the week that I would really rather have backed up every day. So I'm going to run it on the backup schedule here every day at 7 p.m. and click OK. Then once that's been done, I can save the settings and run the backup, and we'll go ahead and let this take off. And then you can see that the backup is taking place. This does take a little bit of time, so I'm going to pause recording until we get to the end. All right, so now you can see my backup has completed. Let's go ahead and see how useful this could be, especially if I needed to restore any of this stuff. Here's my beloved graduation photo. I'm going to hold down Shift and press Delete, which permanently re deletes this instead of sending it to the recycle bin. Likewise, my plan for world denomination... Uh, denomination. <laughs> my plan for world domination. You might not realize this, but this plan is worth billions. I really can't afford to delete this, but I am anyway, okay? Only for the sake of demonstration, folks. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our backup system here. We're going to go to the backup item again here. And then we're going to go to Restore My Files. Then I can browse for files, certain folders, or I could search. So maybe I want to restore all star.jpg files, which would restore all JPEG image files, for example. But I'm just going to browse for files. I'm going to go to the backup of drive C, go to the Users, and the Trainer account. That's the account that I logged on with and that I made the backup with. Then here under Documents, I've got my plan for for world domination, and then I can browse for my other file, which again was going to be my photograph. So I'm going to go back down here to, where is it, pictures, and then there's my daughter's graduation. Okay, so next thing I'll do is just click on next, and then I can restore them to the original location or a different one if I like, but the original location is fine, and it was just that fast. My files have already been restored. I can close this up. Look, there's my plan for world domination. Here's my graduation photograph. Wonderful experience of getting back these files that could have really given me some serious concern if I had permanently deleted them. Well, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.